Hello my wonderful friends, bonjour! Today I'm going to show you how to make an absolutely delicious French dessert called Paris Brest. Imagine soft puffy soup pastries filled with a luscious smooth creamy chocolate cream and I will show you how easy it is to make it. So let's begin! To make Paris Brest we need to make a dough for the soup pastry and a nice chocolate filling. First we'll start with the dough. You need a pot and add the milk and the water and the butter. A pinch of salt and put it on heat until the butter melts. So when the butter melts put the flour inside and start whisking with a wooden spoon. Mix well stirring all the time for at least three to four minutes because we need to cook the dough and we need to evaporate the most of the liquid. Take off the heat and put immediately inside the mixer. We need to seal a little bit the dough before adding the eggs. Put it in. It will be the best soup ever. Now, put the mixer on for two to three minutes until it gets to room temperature. Now, when the mixer is completely cool, we add the eggs one at a time. We need four and a half eggs, medium eggs, uh, so we need four eggs and one egg yolk and we will keep the egg white because we will brush the soup before the oven. Now, I will put one egg inside, put it in and beat until it's incorporated. When it's incorporated, we add the next egg. And my dough is ready. Now, put that on the side. We need a spatula. We need a pastry bag. And let's transfer the mixer into the pastry bag. Perfect. Now, we need two trays and I already marked them with a pen and use a plate to draw a 20 centimeter circle like this because this will be the base for our soup. Now, put a little bit of the dough to the tray to make sure that the parchment paper will stick with the tray. Here also. Perfect. Bravo. And shape the shoe. We need one, two, three circles. Like this. Then we go to the next one. One, two, and one in the middle, three. The remaining dough we carry on the same procedure. One to the top, like this. Seems a little bit poor now, but when we put them inside the oven, they will become so puffy, crispy, and sexy. Now, I need a brush. And you remember the egg white? It's time to use it. Brush the soup pastries on the top, like this, and shape them a little bit using the brush. Into the next one, the same way. And it's time for almonds. Don't be cheapy. My oven is preheated to 200 degrees Celsius set to fan, because it has to be preheated. And it's time to bake them. Make sure that you know exactly what are you doing. You have to put the racks at the highest level and 
put them in one very very fast and bake them for 15 minutes 15 to 200 degrees then reduce to 180 degrees and bake them for more uh, 35 minutes in total we need 50 minutes of baking my shoe are in the oven and it's time to prepare the chocolate filling. Very easy to make, just take a pot, add the milk, but keep 150 ml on the side. Now, add the cocoa powder, the sugar, and put on low heat until the mixer start bubbling. Now, the remaining 150 ml of milk, put it in a bowl, Add the cornstarch and whisk very, very well. Put it next to the pot and add a little bit of vanilla extract to the mixer. Now, until the mixer starts bubbling, I will carry on stirring and we need at least five to seven minutes. As you can see, the mixer starts boiling and it's time to add the cornstarch mixer inside. And now please be careful and keep stirring all the time until the mixer thickens. Amazing! Can you see those bubbles? That means that the mixer is ready. Take it off the heat and immediately pour in the butter and start whisking until all the butter melts and incorporate with the rest of the mixer. Perfect, look at this. It's like ganache, but much more cheaper. Perfect. Take a bowl, a spatula, and pour in all the mixer. Look how velvety and smooth the mixer is. And while you are waiting, for the patisserie to chill inside the fridge and while you are waiting the soup to be ready you can eat those fillings from the pot because it's nice to taste some chocolate while you are waiting for something. Make sure that the clean film touches the surface of the cream because we don't want to become very hard and chewy and put inside the fridge for three to four hours until it gets completely chilled and when the shoes are ready, let them out to rest for three to four hours and then we will carry on with the Paris breast. And the shoes are ready. Look at this. Those are my glasses. Now, cut the one of those in half with a serrated knife and look at this. This lovely shoe pastry. Now, Take a nice tray, put the bottom of the soup pastry and put it on it. Take the filling and before you add it to a piping bag, whisk a little bit to make it more smooth. I need a piping bag. Put some filling on it, like this. Take the other soup pastry and put the filling inside, like this. Now this, it's full of cream inside. Perfect. Put it on top, like this and carry on with the rest of the filling. Perfect. Put that on the top. And this is the best pari breast ever. Traditionally, we serve with some sandy So I will carry on with the tradition. And I will cut a nice piece here. Oh my God, 
Look at these layers of chocolate and soup pastry. A little bit of sandy on the top. And it's ready. It's ready to serve. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe to my channel. If you didn't, you have to. Please share this recipe with your friends and please make some comments under in the video. See you next time, bye bye.